in the most remote location on Earth, thousands of feet below the surface. The unthinkable has happened. Talk to me, Krabs. Oh, it started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So am I wrong? When the customer took a bite, no cheese! I'm going in. Now, the only thing that stands between an improperly made sandwich and a disaster is the courage of one sponge. Everything's gonna be just fine. Who are you? You got a family, Phil? <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. Let's hear about that family. Bingo. What? Say cheese. <gasps> Order up. Three cheers for the manager! You may think SpongeBob SquarePants is just your average ordinary sea sponge. <laughs> but now, <laughs> huh? when his entire world is threatened, the world! <laughs> well, good luck with that. He'll get the chance. Seize him! No! I won't let you! To become the hero. Step out of the No one ever imagined. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> squarier. <laughs> spongier. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Are they laughing at us? No, Patrick. They're laughing next to us. Available now only on DVD and VHS, a new Rugrats movie. See the whole gang in Tales from the Crib, Snow White. It's a new twist on a classic favorite. Now available on DVD. Journey into the Abyss. In search of life's eternal truths. <laughs> Discover the power of the sponge with SpongeBob SquarePants DVDs. Soap with never before seen special features starring Super Smart Patrick. The lid. The lid. Sweet Sandy. I'm hotter than a hickory smoked sausage. And ultra suave SpongeBob. I guess I ripped my pants again. Now you can own all of your favorite SpongeBob episodes, including the Spongetacular Season 1 and Season 2 DVD box sets. As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let you down! SpongeBob SquarePants DVDs. You can watch them again and again and again. You can collect them all and keep your lids peeled for more super special new releases coming soon. That would be so cool. I could look at it all day. Are you ready for action? Are you ready for magic? Are you ready for La Cucaracha? Cucaracha, La Cucaracha! See the adventures of Timmy Turner, Cosmo and Wanda in Fairly Odd Parents, now available on DVD and home video. See Timmy battle ninjas, aliens. We left your planet in peace. Bad dogs. <laughs> and his most feared enemy. Me, Vicky, supreme ruler of the Earth! <laughs> And with the help of his fairy godparents, Wanda and Cosmo, well, let's face it, they do all the work. Sure, we'll go with that. He's Timmy Turner Kid Extraordinaire. Oh, he's my hero. And this is mine. That's it. I'm out of here. But wait, there's more. More Fairly Odd Parents collections are now available on DVD with never-before-seen special features. Now you can collect all of your favorite episodes. Your wish has been granted. I'm watching Timmy. And be on the lookout for more Fairly Odd Parents releases coming soon. At times, the world can seem an unfriendly and sinister place. But believe us when we say that there is much more good in it than bad. And what might seem to be a series of unfortunate events may, in fact, be the first steps of a journey. Our journey begins here, at the home of our new guardian. Hello, hello, hello. I am 
your beloved Count Olaf. Three orphans. My dear. Violet. An unscrupulous guardian. All I ask is that you do each and every little thing that pops into my head. Well, I enjoy the enormous fortune your parents left behind. We're very concerned. Now on DVD, based on the series of best-selling books, you're invited to discover... This way, to the reptile room! Whoa. A world built by imagination, ruled by invention, and strung together by a series of unfortunate events. Paramount Pictures and DreamWorks Pictures present Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. And then the unthinkable happened. Lemon and Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. Now that we're family, I can be the ultimate dad. to bring you our feature presentation. Trains and planes, hiking, biking, swimming at the seashore. He's got his camera and he's gonna explore all the new things he's never done before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Buster, where you up to? Yeah. Oh. What you up to, Buster? Hey. Where you up to now, 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 now? Hey, Buster, where you up to? Yeah. Oh. What you up to, Buster? Hey. Sugar time. like a bionic bunny life preserver? Or how about a nose whistle? I'm pretty sure she doesn't have one of those. Buster, isn't it a little early to be thinking about Mother's Day? It's over a month away. Well, I think it's great that Buster's already looking for a gift. It's a lot better than waiting till the last minute and then just grabbing anything you can find. That's for sure. I still remember last year. I waited till the last minute to buy her a box of chocolates. And then I didn't have time to really hide it. Is that you, Buster? <gasps> there you are. Your new issue of Bionic Bunny came today. I put it in your room. All right. Oh, no! <gasps> Some of those stains never came out. But none of this stuff seems quite right. Maybe you're not looking in the right place. You might find a present while we're here in Vermont. You know, I've never been to Vermont before. It's too bad we're not going in the fall when it's so beautiful. Or in the winter, when the snow covers the mountains and you can ski. What's wrong with going now? Well, it's mud season and it's uh, just so muddy. But this is the best time. It's sugar time. What does that mean? Sugar time is when the sap starts flowing from the maple trees. People collect it, and then they turn it into maple syrup and maple butter and maple candy. Mmm, that sounds good. Prepare for landing, folks, and welcome to Vermont. The winter snow is melting. But it is not green yet. 
What season do you call this? It isn't quite spring yet. It's sugar time in the mountains, sugar time in the woods. I like to breathe the candy air, for nothing ever smells so good. You're right, Mora. Vermont is beautiful at sugar time. While Carlos and Mora are getting ready for their club date in Burlington, your mom has arranged for you to spend some time with Karen. Who's she? She's a photographer who used to work with Mom. She lives here with her partner Gillian and their kids. I should get this on video for Mom. Here we are, Buster. Hey, Poochies. What are your names? You gonna show us to the door? Okay, lead the way. Buster and Bo. Yeah. Hi, Buster. I'm Gillian. Hi, Gillian. Hi. You want to come on in? Come on and meet Karen. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Gillian. Hey, guys. You coming too? Come on. Let's go. Here, here's Buster and Bo. Buster. Hi, Karen. Nice to meet you. Bo. Hi. Good to see you. You too. Oh, Buster, look at you. You look just like your mom. Well, we have to meet my kids. Hey, you guys! Buster's here. Come on out. Hi. My name's David. I'm Emma. And my name's James. Hi, James. Hi, David. Hi. Hi, Emma. Hi. Well, what are your dog's names? That was Sal. And then we have a little one named Sadie. Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Come on, I want to show you the living room. Okay. Come on, Scout. You can see we love dogs. We have dog pictures everywhere. We are crazy about them. One on top is supposed to be Scout, and the one right there is supposed to be Sadie. Looks just like him. What's in the aquarium? These are our frogs. Fifi loves to eat. She eats almost all the food, and these are all pictures of our family. Is that James? James, David, and I. And Gillian. So Gillian's your mom too? She's my stepmom. Boy, that's a lot of moms. Yep, this is mom and Gillian right here. That's a nice picture. This is one of my favorite pictures. How come? Because it has my mom and Gillian, the people I love a lot, and they mean a lot to me. Buster, I'm taking off. See you later. Have a good time. Okay, Dad. Don't forget to say goodbye to Sadie. Bye, Sadie. Hey, Buster, do you want to go find the guys? I think they're in the basement. Okay. Hey, guys. Hello. You two ever box with each other? Or just the back? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes we just box with each other's hands. You know, the brothers, you guys don't look much alike. Because, because he's my stepbrother. And he's my dad. And she's my sister. And, and Emma is my sister. Oh, I get it. So, do you have any great tips on what to get for Mother's Day? I usually make presents for them. Like what? Usually just cards. Is that what you're making here? A card? No, I'm just drawing people. Weird people and dogs. Hey, you guys, come on upstairs, okay? I want you to run some errands for tomorrow's dinner and bonfire, okay? Uh, okay, Mom. I'm right behind ya. Alright, you guys. Um, for tomorrow's dinner, I need you to get me some maple syrup for the baked beans, okay? And cheesecake. I'm gonna make a maple cheesecake. And I need cheddar cheese for the macaroni and cheese. So you can take Buster to Shelburne Farms because you'll love it there. Alright, you can get some cheese. Before you do anything, Bike over to Lily's house for me and ask Tracy for her big lasagna pan. Okay. Okay, you are going to love Tracy and Gina and Lily and her brother and sister, and it's a great house, and that's where we're going to go tomorrow for the bonfire after dinner. Cool. I've never been to a bonfire. All right, have fun, you guys. Be careful. Bye, Karen. Bye. So who's Lily? She's one of my best friends. How did you meet her? Oh, well, Tracy and Gina are her mom, and Tracy and Gina are friends with Gillian. Okay, lead the way. Okay. Sugar time in the mountains, sugar time in the woods. I like to breathe the candy air, for nothing ever smells so good. Feels like 
Things have turned to mud now, and the trees are dripping south. You better grab a bucket now, maple syrup is on tap. It's sugar time in the mountains, sugar time in the woods. I like to breathe again. This is steep. Yeah. Nothing ever smells so good. Hi, you must be Taylor. Can I take that for you? Sure. Thanks. I'll take another one. Here you go, Whoa. Here you go, Gina. Good job, Buster. Thanks. Boy, is it muddy here? It is mud season in Vermont. That's what Carlos said. What's mud season? It's the time right after winter and the thaw happens. Right before spring when it totally just gets muddy everywhere. Ew. Good thing you're wearing boots. So I think it looks like it's ready to go, guys. You ready to go back in now? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Hey, Emma. Hey, who's your friend? This is my friend Buster. Buster? Hi, Tracy. Can you show me Buster and Amelia? Buster. Hi there. What you making? Chocolate chip cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies. That looks perfect, Amelia. That looks delicious. Oh, yeah, I need the casserole dish. Oh, you need the dish for tonight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your mom making? Come on, I'll um, show you where it is. She's making chocolate. Great, more chips. You want me to help stir? <sighs> Gee, it's not easy filming and stirring at the same time. You got the dish. You can put it in your backpack. Sure. So, what's our next step? We have to go to the sugar shack. Hey, maybe I can buy a Mother's Day present at the sugar place. Is this it? Yes, probably sugar house. See the sign? Oh, right. Good clue. Yeah. Smells so good. Hi, I'm Buster. Hi, Buster. What's your name? My name's Cameron. This is Lily and Emma. Hi. Do you work here? I sometimes help out. So, you guys make maple syrup? This is what Mara was talking about. I'd really like to see how you do it. Cool. I'll show you how we tap a tree. Do other kinds of trees make syrup besides maples? Yeah, some other trees make syrup, and their syrup doesn't taste very good. Now we're going to drill the tree. You drill right into the trunk? Yeah, it doesn't hurt it at all. Now, Buster, do you want a hammer? Sure. Just tell me what to do. Okay, Buster, so you can just hammer this thing in. Hey, this is easier to do in film than stirring cookie dough. Yep. Now we can put our bucket on. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm just going to put the lid on the tree. Wow! Is that maple syrup coming out? That's a sack. It's dripping already. Ah, uh, there we go. Hmm. Wouldn't that be a great Mother's Day gift? Happy Mother's Day! Huh? I got you your very own maple tree. You'll never have to buy syrup again. That's wonderful, Buster. But how do you turn it off? Uh... Ah. Or maybe that's not such a great idea. Hey, Cameron, why are all these tubes connected to the trees? It's another way of getting the sap down to the sugar house. How many trees are connected? There's over 2,500 of them. Wow, that's a lot of maple trees. This is kind of like a super highway. Is that sap going through all those tubes? Yeah. Where does all the sap go? It goes into a big collector tank. 
then it goes into the evaporator. In that wooden shop? Yeah. That's all sap? Yeah. Wow. It looks like water. It was sap. It looks like water because it's almost all water and there's only a small amount of sugar in it. They boil off all the water. Oh yeah, we saw something boiling when we came in. Yeah, that's what you were seeing my uncle do. Okay, so let's head in. This must be the boiling sap. Yes, it is. It smells real good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And it comes out there into the bucket? Yep, the maple syrup. This is the finished product. I'm ready to put in the can so you can bring it home and put it on your pancakes. Yeah. Look at all the stuff for sale. Hey, Emma, there's some maple syrup. Yep, I think this is what my mom wants. Cameron, what are these? Oh, they're maple candy. Cool. Maybe you can get them for your mom. Hey, great idea. I'll take one, Cameron. Can you put it in my backpack? Yep. Thanks. So you're making sugar on snow? What's that you're pouring? It's the sugar. Thanks. With a pickle and a donut? Hmm, interesting combination. Buster, do you like it? Mm, this is good. How's yours? Oh, great. Well, this was really good, but we've got to get some cheese for Emma's mom at the dairy. Thanks for showing us around, Cameron. Yeah, see you later, Buster. Bye. Bye, Bye Emma. It's sugar time in the mountains, sugar time in the woods. Hey guys, like wait for me. For nothing ever smelled so good. Hey Georgia, hey Sophie. Guys, I want to introduce you to my friend Buster. Hi Buster. Hi. Hi. Gee, this is a big dairy. How many cows um, have you got? Like over 200. Wow. Thank you. This is a cow right here. They're called the Swisser. Whoa! He's going to eat my camera. He thinks it's food. Actually, it's a sheep. A sheep? Yeah, all cows are sheep. See, if you look under them, you see their udders. That's where the milk comes out. Hmm. I wonder how my mom would like... Happy Mother's Day! Would you like one squirt or two in your coffee? Gee, I don't know. Oops. I gotta start thinking smaller. Do you do the milking yourself? Uh, no, no. The milking machines do that. Oh, Buster. Where are we going? Here. Hey, look at these calves. Aw, they're awfully cute. Do you milk them too? When they get older, like maybe the size of those guys. And right now we're gonna feed two. Is this one having trouble standing? No, they're just brand new. It's hard for them. Could I try to feed one? Sure. Hold the bottle up. Hey, all right. She's got it. Will she drink this whole bottle? Yep. Thanks. That was fun. Say, you think I could watch the cows being milked? Okay. And right over here. Wow, we're just in time for the milking. This is great. I can get all this on tape and... Shh, that's true. You have to be quiet while the cows are around. Oh, sorry. Buster, if you're nice and quiet, you can come down and watch milking. Thanks. Okay, I have to be really quiet so I don't bother the cows. Hey, those pipes look kind of like the maple syrup ones. It's a milk superhighway. I guess I'll leave the cows to their business. Where are we going now? Wait for me. Let me climb up too. Whoa. It's high up here. This is so cool. You guys come up here a lot? Yeah. Hey, Georgia. What's your favorite thing about Vermont? Um, I don't really have a favorite thing. I like everything about Vermont. Yeah, you guys have maple syrup, milk, and cheese. Oh my gosh, Buster, we have to do some errands. Oh, right, let's go. We gotta get some cheese. Yeah, we have to go. Man, 
this is a great store. And look at all the stuff you can make out of milk. Cream, butter, cheese. Hey, a cheese wheel. Nothing says Mother's Day like cheese. I'm going to get some cheese for my mom, too. We have to keep going. Great. Where do we pay? Okay, Buster, we need your backpack. Sure thing. Here you go. Ah. Thanks for all the help. This is going to be a great Mother's Day. Yeah. Say that again. My mom's going to be psyched to get all these Vermont gifts. We got the cheese and the maple syrup. Your dad's here. It's time to go. Pack up. Bye, Buster. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks, Karen. Hey, Buster, get some rest. We're going to have a great day tomorrow, and we're going to have a huge feast, so don't eat too much tonight. Okay. Bye, Bo. Bye, Bye See you later. Karen. Have a good night. Good night. And I bought Mom a maple candy lollipop and some cheese, and I even threw in my leftover donut and pickle from the sugar house. Sounds very, uh, original. She's gonna love it. I can't wait to see her face. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you, Buster. Mmm, delicious! You are just the best son ever. Aw, Mom. I'm your only son. No, really. Who else would think to get his mom a pickle and a donut? Well, it's just a Vermont thing, but it did make me think of you. Oh, wait, there's more. Uh, I am the luckiest mom in the world. It's going to be perfect. And David and James and Taylor promised to help me wrap everything before dinner when I go over there tomorrow. Well, you better get a good night's sleep, because you have a bunch of schoolwork you have to finish before you go back tomorrow. Well, here we are. Have a good time at the bonfire, Buster. Bye, Dad. Thanks for helping me wrap everything. All right, time to eat. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey Buster. Hey Buster. Hi. How you doing? Good. Tell me, would like the candles? Buster, we celebrate Shabbat, and so these are the Shabbat prayers that we do over the candles and the bread and the wine. And so that's how we start our Friday night meal. Okay, so you can just kind of watch. I celebrated Shabbat with my friend Arya too. But you guys do it a little differently. Thank you very much. This all looks so delicious. That was delicious. Thank you. Do I bring the plates to you? Oh, thanks, Buster. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Maple cheesecake. Hey, listen, Buster, don't forget your mother's present in David's room because we're going to go to the bonfire and then you're going to leave from Tracy's house, okay? Oh, right. Let me go get them. No! Buster. Are you okay, Buster? What's the matter? Scout ate Mother's Day. It was awful, Dad. The dog ate all Mom's gifts. The cheese, the maple candy, even the pickle. Now my allowance is shot, and I've got nothing to show for it. Aw, oh, this is going to be the worst Mother's Day ever. You must feel terrible, Buster. But maybe you could make her something. Those are the gifts your mom likes the best. Remember how much she loved the macaroni necklace? Yeah, but what could I make her? All the macaroni in this house is in my stomach. I'm sure you'll think of something. Try to have a good time at the bonfire, and I bet an idea will come to you. Thanks, Dad. I'll do my best. Hmm. 
Okay, listen, you guys, I want to take a picture of everyone. So everybody get over on the bench where James is. Hold on, I'm going to jump in there. Buster, where are you? Buster! I'm right I'll here. I'll you in the picture. Go! Me with them? Yeah, it's a family photo. Come on. Get right next to Tracy. Can I sit right here? Cool. This is going to be a great picture. I want everybody to think of their fondest winter memory because we're saying goodbye to winter and we're welcoming in spring. One, two, three, goodbye winter! I gotta go. My dad's here. Did you have fun? Yeah. I had so much fun hanging with you and Emma. Cool. I hope you come back next spring. I hope so. Especially for this bonfire. Yeah. So, hey, Lester, you know what? We'll miss you. I think your mom's really lucky to have a kid like you. Thanks. I think you're all really great, too. And thanks for showing me Vermont during mud season. Bye, Buster. Bye. Bye. So that was my weekend in Vermont, Mom. Sorry about the cheese and the candy, but Dad reminded me that you like homemade gifts best anyway. So I hope you like this video postcard I made just for you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Oh! We say goodbye to winter Welcome in the spring With all our newfound friends in town Around the fire we sing It's sugar time in the mountains Sugar time in the woods I like the free candy air And nothing ever smells so Sugar time in the in mountains, mountains Sugar time in the, the woods, in the woods. I like the free candy air And nothing and ever smells so, so South Pole, riding on horses, ferries, trains, and planes, hiking, biking, swimming at the seashore. He's got his camera and he's gonna explore all the new things he's never done before. Yeah, 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 hey, Buster, where you up to? What you up to, Buster? Where you up to now, 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 now? Hey, Buster, where you up to? Meet me at the fair. I've come looking for a prize. I'll find it in your smiling eyes. If you'll just meet me at the fair, I will find you anywhere. Oh, meet me at the fair in Indiana. According to the Farmer's Almanac, we can expect mostly sunny skies with warm temperatures for the next couple of days. Sounds like perfect weather for our outdoor concert at the county fair. 
Yeah. And it's also a good time to bring in the hay. I didn't know you were so into farming. I'll be staying on a farm for the next couple of days. Whose farm is it? Somebody my mom went to college with. She has a kid my age. Oh, I hope she's nice. Do you know what kind of farm it is? I don't know. The regular kind? My grandfather had a dairy farm. I used to help him milk the cows. Hey, do you think you could teach me? It's kind of hard to learn without an actual cow to practice on. But according to this, Indiana has 860,000 cows. I don't think they're going to expect you to milk any cows. But if I don't know how, I'm going to look like some city kid who's just lived in a condo all his life and doesn't know how to count his chickens before they hatch. Seatbelts, everyone. We'll be landing in Indiana in about 20 minutes. This may not be a good year for wheat. Look at all that corn. Let's see. Corn. There are several varieties of edible corn that may be planted when the moon is full. Why don't you take a break from that almanac? For problems with weevils, see page 250. Indiana farm country is beautiful. Maybe you should turn on that camera and get this on film. You're right, Dad. It's so green and flat, and the sky is so big. I should be getting this. Rolling down this road between your fields of green. Looking for a friend beneath the biggest sky I've ever seen. Oh, Indiana, wonder what I'll find there. In all these open spaces, I hope to find a friendly face in Indiana. In all these open spaces, I know I'll find a friendly face in Indiana. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Buster. I'm so glad you could come. Thanks. I will introduce you to my daughter, Lauren. Hi, Buster. This is my husband, Larry. Hi, Buster. And this is my son, Nathan. Howdy, Buster. Hi, and this is my dad, Bo. Thanks for having me. Well, we're so glad to have you at our farm. Are you ready for a taste of life in the country? I think so. Great, come on, let's go see some stuff. Bye, Buster. I'll meet you tomorrow at the fair, okay? Okay, bye. Do you want to go see my pig? Sure. Okay, I'm going to show her at the fair. Show the pig? What do you mean? You got to compete against different pigs. Do they do tricks? No, it's how much muscle and meat they have on them. Buster, this is Francine. Francine, this is Buster. Hey, I have a friend named Francine, but she's a girl, not a pig. <coughs> Whoa, did she just growl at me? Don't be scared, Buster. Francine's got some muscle. <coughs> Whoa. Hey, Buster, do you want to go see our horses? Yeah. I'd love to have a horse, but they aren't allowed where I live. It's just the usual pets. Dogs, cats, gerbils. I mean, I could get a gerbil, but you can't saddle it up and ride it around, so what's the point? Whoa. Is that horse kind of big for its size? This is Penny. Um, what's she eating? Oats. These are oats, Buster. Horses aren't carnivores, are they? No, they eat, um hay and they eat grass and they drink water. Let me guess. You'll take oats with a side order of hay. In this barn there is uh, horses and hay and oats and stuff that they might need when they're doing stuff. Hey, what's that? What? What's what? That thing over there. That's a uh, 49 Plymouth. Are you sure? Do you know where I came from? No, I'm not sure. Just as I thought. You guys know your horses and pigs, but I know a UFO when I see one. <laughs> Bad year for wheat, but we're just in time to bring in the hay. Buster, come on, I'll show you something else. Wow! You get to drive a forklift? Where does the hay come from? 
Uh, hay field. Then what happens? First you cut it, then you dry it, then you roll it up in the bales. Whoa, step back. You haven't seen a cow before? Well, of course I have. Just not this close. They're huge. Yes, they are. Are they dangerous? Sometimes they are when they kick, but you try not to get behind them. Hey, Buster, do you want to go for a ride? Sure. Okay, now hold on. Um, do your parents let you drive this? Yes. How old are you? Ten. How long have you been driving this thing? For about a year. Wow, you're a good driver. Can you go backwards, too? Yep. Let me see. Ready? How about sideways? Can you go sideways? We gotta get ready for supper because the competition's tomorrow, so we have to get to bed early. Let's go. Supper? But I just had lunch. And how can you even think about bedtime? It's not even dark yet. Sunset is at 8.42 p.m. <sighs> Moonrise is at 11.17. Sunrise is at 5.58 a.m. Aw, why does it have to be so early? <laughs> 6.15. Oh, good. I'll just go back to sleep. Mmm, what's that smell? I better go downstairs and find out. I think they're calling for rain, though, this afternoon, a thunderstorm. Um, good morning. Well, good morning, Buster. Nothing like sleeping in. But it's 619. I only got 10 hours of sleep. Well, would you like to join us for breakfast? Sure. Okay, we're having French toast. Do you like French toast? Yes, please. You guys seem so awake. Did I miss something? I had to clean the house, and I had to feed the cats, and I had to walk the pigs. I bailed hay this morning, took out the garbage, and fed the horses. Before breakfast? In the dark? Is that really a good idea? That's the best time to get the work done. If you wait till this afternoon, it's too hot. So you start your day before the day starts. Yes, we do. Why don't you put your camera down so you can eat with the rest of us, okay. all right? At least I didn't miss breakfast. Hey, Buster, when get breakfast finished, do you think you could give us a hand loading those pigs this morning? You mean I can help out? Yeah, we always need a good helping hand. Here comes Francine. I'm putting my pig in the trailer so I can take him to the fair. <laughs> the other friend scene doesn't like to be told what to do either. Get in the trailer. I guess they're more alike than I thought. Get in the trailer. Francine, you gotta get in the trailer. You can't win a prize if you don't go to the fair. Bye, Francine. <laughs> See you at the competition. I've never seen so many pigs in one place. I hope it doesn't turn ugly. Francine looks shiny. We're putting skin so soft in the pig's skin. Why? It makes them darker color, makes them look bigger. I think she looks like a winner today, don't you? Yeah, I think she does. Hey, Francine, do your best out there, okay? Watch out, Francine. Some pigs get pushy under pressure. Who's this? Another competitor? This is Stubb. His name is because his tail is really short. His mom stepped on it when he was really small and made it really small. And uh, he is seven months. Don't chew on my foot. <laughs> Don't let the judges see you do that, Stubb. You might lose some points. We're going to take Francine into showmanship. She looks like a perfect pig to me, but it's not up to me. Ooh, that 
must be the judge. I hope he picks Francine. Woohoo! The crowd is going wild. What does that mean? Has he picked the winner already? Let's give him a real round of applause as we move on to the next group. It didn't go too well. I guess I didn't do what the judge was looking for today. Well, I think you should have won. But it's not over yet. Now Nathan's in the ring with Stub the Foot Chewer. They're judging the pigs. And right now, I got pinned. Well, what does that mean? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's a good thing, but then I think it's a bad thing. The prizes. Maybe Stub still has a shot. Nathan Jernis to the stage. Yes, we have a winner! <laughs> Congratulations, Nathan. Thanks, Buster. <laughs> Let me get a good angle on that trophy. I still don't get why one pig wins and another loses. What are they judging the pigs on exactly? They judge on which pig has the most muscle and meat, and they're gonna go to the market. Go to the market? Well, what do you mean? On Friday, we'll sell them, and then they get slaughtered. You, they, what? But, but doesn't that make you sad? Um, no, not really. I mean, sometimes it does because you like the pig so much you're attached to it, but most of the time it doesn't because it's just an animal and you need food to eat. I think that winning is good, but most of the time I just think that it's fun to do stuff at the fair. You're always having fun there. So where do you want to go, Buster? Everywhere. OK. <laughs> Are chickens always this loud? You do a great chicken. And that's a cool tattoo. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. Where'd you get it? Well, I got it here in the United States, but I've lived all over the world, so I wanted to get a compass and, and a tattoo of the world around it. I like it. Well, I gotta go. Hey, take care. Bye. Enjoy the fair. Thanks, you too. Let's see if I can talk chicken. Baby goat. How do they get their heads through the fence like that? Buster, come on. Oh, come in. Is it okay if I come in for a closer angle? Yeah, come on. Do you think the camera will spook her? Nope, she's real sweet. See? She likes hugs. We're gonna um, get her ready to exercise so I can ride her. She looks a little wild. I got her under control. I've been riding since I was three. These are spurs. Do they hurt? Yep, they're a little sharp, but if you jab them really hard, then it hurts some, but... This is a safety helmet. I have to wear that. We gotta put on the bridle. This is your last practice before the competition tomorrow. I know. Bye. Have fun. Does the horse, I mean Bee, have fun too? She likes to be ridden. I really hope Lauren wins something tomorrow. Oh. Hey Buster, do you want to ride with me? Uh, well, I've never ridden a horse before. That's okay. I guess it's kind of like riding a bike. Yeah. Except with no handlebars and no way to touch the ground. Uh, I'd hate to fall off of B. Whoa. Don't look down. But I have to look somewhere. Just look straight ahead. Okay, straight ahead. 
Are you sure you know what you're doing? I've been riding since I was three, remember? What are you doing with the reins? I'm controlling the horse. Hey, it's like driving, except where's the brake? Whoa. Cool. Now make her go again. Are you having fun? I can see why you like this. Thanks, Lauren. You're welcome. Hi, Buster. Dad! Where's Lauren? She had to go back and get ready for the horse competition. So how's the farm? Have you milked any cows yet? No, but Lauren is really nice. And she took me for a ride on her horse. And she has a pig named Francine. I'm glad you're having fun and trying new things. Yeah, and we met this guy who has a really cool tattoo. Can I get one? Uh, no. Buster, I want you to see some friends of mine play. They're called the Deep Fried Pickle Project. Fried pickles. Mm. Are these the fried pickles? Wait a minute, is this a new sport? Wow! Gotcha! <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. There they are, Buster. Hey, that's the tattoo guy from the chicken coop. Well, He's part of the Deep Fried Pickle Project, your first jug band. Why are they called a jug band? Because of the instruments they play. Well, that's a fiddle. But what's that called? It's a washtub bass. And that's a washboard. They make their own instruments. Cool. I bet Daniel and Alan would show you how to make one of those. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, they can take you with them right after the concert. Hey, Buster, we're gonna go make some instruments. We gotta find some materials. Let's go. Great. I don't see any musical instruments. This is a hardware store, guys. See, what we need here, we need a hammer, and even a hammer can be a musical instrument. Listen to the ringing of the tractor gears. Now, Buster, if you grab one of those sticks over there... Okay. We're gonna help you build one of these, and you're gonna have a string attached to the middle of this, and then this stick right here, you're gonna plunk the string, and it's gonna produce a cool sound. sounds just like it's supposed to. I did a good job on that washtub base. Whoa. Cool. Uh, Lauren can do anything. She drives tractors and takes care of cows. She trains pigs and rides horses. And what have I been doing with my life? I've been reading the Farmer's Almanac, but she's been living it. Buster, you've traveled the world. That's true. And you built this washtub base? I guess that's something. And you discovered a comet? Kind of by accident, but I guess it counts. And you're really good with that camera. Uh, maybe you're right. I hope to get to film Lauren winning a prize at the horse competition. Well, you'll find out pretty soon. I've got to help Carlos and Mora pick up some sound equipment so you get to ride back to the fair with Lauren. starting to look a little nervous. What about you, B? Are you nervous? I am. And make sure you count your two and a half. So which way so you turn. One, two, You're turning into the woods both times. Are you nervous, Lauren? A little bit. But there's so much to remember. Turn, walk, trot, lope, face this way, face that way. So when you go in, you would wait for the acknowledgement. Thank you. You go to that. Mailbox, you walk this one. So the it's gate. walk, walk, trot, lope, walk, walk, 
walk, walk. Walk, Study it. walk, walk, trot, lope. Good luck, Lauren. Thanks, Buster. Okay, they're going. And this is it. Oh, I hope she remembers all the lopes and the turns and the walks. Come on, back up. To a quarter turn, quarter turn. Good girl. Good. Switch. Good girl. Double circles and then that's in a figure eight. Good girl. She's looking. Walk. Walk your horses, please. Walk. Trot. Trot your horses. Looking good. Canter. Canter your horses, please. Canter. This is the part where they have to change clothes and saddles really, really fast. Lauren told me that there are two different styles of riding, English and Western. When you ride English, you wear one thing, and when you ride Western, you have to wear another. And the same goes for the horse. Now Lauren's ready for Western. something about 42.363. What does that mean? Is it good or bad? Good. We're just waiting on pins and needles to find out how we did. You are going super fast at the end. What did it feel like? Rockety. It's like, woo. There's the first place winner. Oh, I can't stand it. Call Lauren. Call In Lauren. second place, number 89, Lauren Journey. Yes, we have a winner. I knew it. I wasn't worried at all. Congratulations. Um, I got in second place. Show me the ribbon. Show me the ribbon. Ah, good job. It's like I want to kiss too. I can kiss you, B. You good girl. So, Lauren, what do you want to do now? Hey, Buster, I'll take you up on the Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel will take us round and round. And as we ride up in our airborne seats, we can see everything from here. Yep. This is my kind of ride. farm life, Dad. Well, you can stay in touch with Lauren and visit the farm again. Yeah. Hey, Dad, if I can't get a tattoo, can I get a horse? I could ride it to school, and I know Mom wouldn't mind, so can I, huh? Can I? No. 